Welcome back to another anime reaction. Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to Black Clover episode 70, titled Two New Stars. The Star Festival is going to reveal who won the stars, especially after last episode where we had the kind of ridiculous matchup against with Vanessa versus Charlotte. That was fun, but I'm excited to see who's going to be winning stars. I'm waiting for Asta and Yuno to get back together and hang out. I'm really excited to see what's scum. It's been a really fun mini arc, but I have a feeling because of the episode name, this is probably where it wraps up when we get into the bigger Royal Knights part of the arc. So with that, we're going to be jumping into the reaction, but don't forget to stick around to the end where we review and break down the episode. Okay, here we are. We got the Wizard King ready to announce the awards. Who's winning the stars today? Obviously, the Black Bulls are going to be winning something because we know they've been doing good ever since Asta joined the team. From both the Diamond and the Spade Kingdoms, and you don't forget about the Eye of the Midnight Suns, who have caused a lot of damage. Honestly, I would say that the Eye of the Midnight Suns are the biggest threat out of all of them so far. <laughs> Our nine Magic Knight Squad captains. Um, you're missing two of them. Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte and Yami are still in the booth. One's puking from being drunk and the other one is wearing barely any clothes. I just realized something. This is the Royal Knights uh, arc. That means we... Oh, hey, wait, there's a new captain. It's another Mar uh, M Mary... Uh, Mar wait, Mary Olina... Mary Olina Vermillion. Okay, cool. Her younger brother, Fuego Leon. Wait, she's older? Okay, cool. Oh, and we got the new purple orchids captain, too, after the last traitor. Okay, okay. Let's see what's going to happen now. Anyways, what I was saying before, before I got distracted, um, I realized that we haven't really seen much of any of the other squads except part of the Vermilions, right? And then the Golden Dawns. Like, we've only seen part of them. I can't wait to see the rest of them. <laughs> Yami's late all the time, but I'm surprised about Charlotte. Yeah, he's, just, he's on the other side of the festival still. <laughs> Finroll, just teleport them over there. You're good. The number they've accumulated is 125. Yeah. That's a huge jump from the record. Hmm, who joined in the last year? Oh, wait, that was Yuno. <laughs> it's Yuno. It's Yuno, right? It's Yuno. There we go. The promising newcomer with Thip. <laughs> There's Charmy. She got to look while she eats. Got to see her meal saving Prince. It's going to be Black Bulls, right? It's going to be Black Bulls. Everyone's going to be shocked. Let's do this. The Black Bulls! Literally, I called it. No one's going to be expecting this one. We're always last no matter what. As they're all shocked. <laughs> 101 stars. There you go, Austin. It's all because of you. <laughs> Yummy crap. <laughs> Klaus is happy. He got his friend. He's doing good. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> they must have cheated. Oh, Kahono and Kyoto standing up for their friends. And Rebecca. Uh, to everyone that's they've helped are just standing up for them. It's wholesome. And again, their captain's not even present. <laughs> Is anyone from the Black Bulls around? <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I love how they're all like, it's, it's for Asta. Asta's got to be up there. <laughs> <You almost got it. laughs> oh my god. Can we just get Finral to teleport him? Why are we launching him? <laughs> That's that. Hey, he stuck the landing for once. That was a good moment. That was a good moment. That was hype. I like that. 
<laughs> Don't let it go to your head. <laughs> Gotta love their little brother rivalry. Look, the first and second in obtaining stars, and they're both from the same town, they're from the same family, and they're both brothers. Gotta love it. Yeah, that one. Apparently they're peasants from the boonies. Ah, Seke just mentioning what they are. <laughs> I like how Seke, I feel like he's trying to embarrass them, but everyone's like, wait, shit, peasants got to the top? Oh my god, what? <laughs> Full power. What are you? What are, what, are, what are we doing? What are we doing? You know? Oh, I see. We're showing off. That's what we're doing. Showing off their skills in front of everyone. We got full power magic and then also just boop, deflecting it. <laughs> Wizard King talking about inclusion. Include the peasants. Get rid of the statuses. Who cares? Work together. The two people from the boonies got to do this. Because, the, you know, the, the royals are never going to do that. They got to do the people who came from nothing and grew to the top. Yeah, you did make it that far, Asta, because you're awesome. <laughs> Funny, Noelle's squad is higher than her squad, or her sibling squad. The Black Bull's not last for the first time. <laughs> All because you do is draw a dumb picture. <laughs> the child captain. Yeah, you did. You know what that means? It means Noel's better than you. Oh, we're finally gonna see the king? Wait, have we seen the king before? I feel like we might have seen the king before. No, oh, yes, we saw him at one point. We was asking where the hell the wizard king was, but we haven't seen him in a while. Hmm? <laughs> I don't think anyone actually cares about the King King. They only like the Wizard King. <laughs> Long live the King. Woo. So the King is a baby. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm greater than any wizard king. Uh, I don't think that's true. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh yeah, that's right. You know, so far, the, ro the royalty aren't so good. You get the peasants and the people from the boonies who are doing the best. 
白夜の魔岩の味とを突き止めた白夜の今まで奴らから襲撃を受けたことがあるのか Uh, what if there's spies in the kingdom? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we got a hand picked unit to go into I'm a Knight Sign. It's called the Royal Knights. So we got an exam where they're going to be going out, and whoever wins gets to join the squad. Why do I have a feeling I know exactly who's going to be on that team? I mean, you can't go against them without Yuno and Asta, so those two are definitely on it. And I'm sure there's gonna be a couple other Black Bulls and some, and some Gold Dons. Maybe Leo from the Vermilions. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard about the king doing anything amazing before. <laughs> oh my god, Asta. <laughs> But he's doing a single good thing for the people, right? <laughs> oh, what a savage. It's like, yeah, just get the Wizard King and the captains go against them. <laughs> also, just being stupidly blunt to the king who already has a superiority complex. So, <laughs> この二人がいつの日か王を守る盾になることもあるかもしれない。それにこの程度のことでむやみに振りかざしては王の権威が安く見えますよ。Hey, Julius has got a point. He's got a point. You know, doing something like that just makes you you look like a weakling. Oh, Jami, noticing it's Julius's idea. <laughs> I almost got executed because of you. Okay, <laughs> so we got the Royal Knights exam is what's going on here. Two rookies against some of the strongest. Nice. Okay, so that's what we're going to be going off into the next episode. I was right. This is the end of the Star Festival episode. Cool. Okay, so Asa is going to try to use it this arc. That's good. Hey, it's Leo! Oh! I got decked in the face. Okay. I think I know why you guys placed fifth. Maybe because your uh, your former captain got pretty messed up. And that probably halted a lot of things. Just saying. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. The Star Festival is over. And we're going into the Royal Knights. So that's pretty cool. The King's a joke. But hey! It's gonna be a lot of fun, um, uh, especially with him saying that's gonna be some pretty. They're gonna be veterans going into this, so they're gonna be harder enemies. Uh, I already know what that means. We're gonna get some cool fights. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's also gonna be a long goddamn arc, so we'll see how this goes. So with that, if you like this reaction, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. It helps out the channel a lot, and you get to stay up to date with all my anime reactions, Marvel and DC breakdowns. Now with that, we're gonna be jumping into the review breakdown part of this video. So yeah, that was a great wrap up to the like the little Star Festival arc they had before the Royal Knights exam, and it's so awesome what they set up. The Golden Dawn's obviously number one, showing that you know is their prize member. He's been all the veterans. He's gotten stronger, got them to the new ranks, and even has a spear with him. So showing that this rookie, who's a peasant from the boonies, is better than uh, most of the royal that are in there and i love how black bulls rank number two and all the black bulls were like we know who has to go up there it's not us and yami literally chucks asta up there i'm surprised they didn't get Fenrir to teleport yami and charlotte onto the stage as well because you know the captains are missing but it was a lot of fun to see 
how the Black Bulls care to come on screen and give him his time to shine. Something he's been working hard for and showing that the Black Bulls are only in second place because of him. And I also love how, you know, shows off their power by doing a super powerful attack just to show that he's worthy of being up there, but also showing that Asta is worthy of being up there as well by having Asta deflect the move. So I love it. It's showing how, you know, cares about Asta, trying to show his strength so people don't look down on him, but also both of them competing to become Withered King and showing off their strength. There was also so many other good moments in this episode, like Kyoto, Kiono, and Rebecca all standing up for the Black Bulls because the Black Bulls saved them. They did everything they could to stop the Eye of the Midnight Suns from killing them. And I really like that. And just, again, it shows how these characters have affected people around them. And everyone else saw the Black Bulls as cheaters. They thought they cheated, but... They have these actual people who've dealt with them, had been saved by them, stand up for them, which was such a good moment. And the king showing up, yeah, that was something. He's such a baby. He's such a petty. There, he, he has no power. The wizard king holds all the power. Everyone respects him. No one gives a crap about the king. And it's because the king doesn't do anything for his citizens. He just whines and cries and wants to be praised. However, I do like how it set up the Royal Knights exam. Having the strongest of the strong go against one another, get handpicked for the big fight against the Eye of the Midnight Suns. And I'm excited to see what's to come because obviously, you know, we know Austin, you know, are going to be in it. They're both wanting to become stronger. It's their path to become the Wizard King. And even the Wizard King is like, and you got to join it to be get closer and closer to your goal. So I like that. And he always saw re references that he'll be, they'll be going against the veterans, super strong people. And I'm excited to see the fights that come out of that because, you know, they're going to be some pretty cool ones. And I'm excited to see who else will be in the Royal Knights exam. Obviously, there's going to be some Black Bulls. It can't just be Asta. There's going to be more of them. And then Yuno's going to be in it, of course. Unless it's just going to be all the knights going against each other to see who's going to be the strongest. And that could be a fun fight. And, you know, Finral's in it. And Langris is in it. You know, brother versus brother match I've been waiting for. That'll be pretty cool. An awesome episode with some pretty big reveals. I honestly just can't wait to see more of the, like, other squads. Because we haven't seen much other than a couple. So I'm excited to see what's to come from this. There's going to be a lot of cool fights. It's a long arc. And I'm hyped. That's it. I'm pretty hyped. So let me know. What did you think of this episode when you first watched it? What was your favorite moment? Thanks for watching this reaction and breakdown. And we'll talk to you next week when we watch another episode of Black Clover.